Oh, it's time to be the corporate liaison. Dear corporate overlords, tis I, field officer, third grade, senior, Randolph Percival, checkers, your man in the field. I was awoken this morning most terribly, wanting to know why this vessel is here of all places. What could the company gain by sending me here? For what profit margin are we seeking out here amongst the stars? I also firmly apologize for my tenure of the breakfast foods division. Building better breakfasts was in fact harder than I ever thought. And the failure of the maple bacon breakfast log, self-heating, variety. Please let your man know at soonest what he can hope to accomplish. Yours truly in exile from all corporate operations. Sign. Oh yeah, oh god, you hear a voice in your head, your special corporate headsets, fax alarm beeps in your ear. The company wishes to speak with me. Lower communications department, 2 h limited function. Uh, addressee, Randolph P. Checkers, USS Almera, liaison. Subject, improper fax. We are deeply sorry, but due to your failure to use one of our provided company ta fax templates, your previous message could not be processed, and we don't know. Oh, oh. You know what? You know what? You know what? Ah, oh, you dicks. Gonna, oh, I, I will do some bureaucratic fuckery. All right, here we go. <clears throat> yeah, okay. Hey, guys. We don't have time to fuck around with bullshit faxes about using the style guide. You can tell HR to jam it up their ass. I got a priority one here. Corset is in trouble. Confirmed xenomorph attack. We have serious liabilities here, boys. Tell Karen in HR to stop messing with me. I don't care if she put out a style guide or some stupid font of the week. <laughs> Nobody likes her cupcakes either. She burns them. She uses awful buttercream icing and it's just a ball of sugar. Nobody likes them, Karen. And now it's part of company record. Yeah, let's see what happens with that fax. I, I bet I'm not going to even get a response. I made someone mad. Oh, oh no. One just came in. I can only presume this is measure from Lee is on the sign of the USS Almera Randolph P. Checkers. That would be great if you would confirm that by signing your fax instead of forcing me to have to go searching through documents to discover who sent this message. You do realize the reason we have the date box so we can sort these properly, yes? It just makes things so much simpler for those involved. It would be great if you were to use it. Well, regardless of you say that the corporate orbital research station where advanced technology is experienced an XX121 outbreak, that is most certainly odd. Likely th some sort of sabotage from other company. Keep us updated on the situation and try not to insult my secretary further. I like her baked goods. Okay, you know what? No. I, mm, that's it. This fucking corporate clown. It's, it's on. Subject. Being wrong about your secretary's baked goods and supposed importance. Listen here. I used to work for the old company, and back then we had a saying, are we making money or are we making rules? And you know what? I'm a man who makes money. We're here to drive profit from the stars themselves. We're here to turn every dusty shitball planet into a money mine and then blow that profit all over the board like a bunch of dirty bankers and that's what i intend to do so listen here i'm gonna tell you two things one we have a xx one to one issue yes that means lots of people are going to die but our objective should be how to either spin this, make it go away, or make some money. Two, those baked goods are awful. I will not give ground on this measure in the slightest. Do you have any idea 
how hard it is to actually digest a zoo <laughs> zucchini bread souffle. I was in the hospital for seven weeks and I ate it because I presumed a woman that fat had to know what she was doing in the kitchen. How wrong I w wow, can I spell? Wrong I was. So listen here, we have a problem. How are we going to get through it? I've seen the Marines we have on hand. They're not smart. One tried to hand me a live primed grenade and forgot how to use it. This is our common denominator here for solving these problems. We have some issues and may need mercs or similar as plausible deniability assets. Think on it. It's a fax war now. Uh, 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 uh yes? Take the gloves. Uh, 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 okay. They're fine gloves. In case one of my MTs goes rogue. Oh, okay. What's those papers? Me arguing with corporate. It's, uh, supposedly private. But I guess that doesn't matter. I'm burning my correspondence on my wooden floor. There, done. Have an apple. Your door might be broken. Is that so? Slight droning sound of corporate liaison's quarters airlock slowly fades out. Huh. Do... Do you hear that? A slight droning sound? And it fades away. Slightly. Yeah, that's the door. What happened? Why's my door broken? This is outrageous. It won't close. Jumbled mess of colored wires. Well, why are these wires broken? I may be no electricity, doctor, but I know fucked wires when I see them. Just, uh, you just standing outside my door when I walk up and the wires are all fucked. Put, put a cabinet there. This, <laughs> this seems, uh, wrong. How does this help? This is the chief engineer of the ship. He's like, fixed. I, I don't think this is helping. I don't think it's like a door. A, a, okay, a copy machine is not a door. I cannot open and walk through a copy machine. I think it's helping. I, I, I humbly disagree. This is not helping. In my opinion as, don't even start with me. The difference between you and a paper boy is that fucking hat and that vest. A certified engineer, I humbly, yeah, crown this a door. It is not a door. Pardon me, sir. Corporate is having a word. Fix my door. Valued Western Yamada liaison. Name here. At the moment, we are unable to dispatch a PMC team to your location. This may be because all present teams in the sector occupy the request was not valid, or another team has recently dispatched. We apologize. However, USC investment uh, functionary equipped with distress being to uh, escape pod, blah, blah, blah. Distress being results may vary. Off duty, blah, 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 blah. Oh, my God. All right, look. I'll give you a wrench. It can be a door. Paper pushing little. Listen. Listen. No, 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 you listen. I have had it with your stupid, stupid face and its stupid ideas. And you know what? You know what? I'm gonna write a letter that says you're a duty head. Look at that beret. I'm, I'm gonna put your name in a fax to, co to corporate headquarters and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say this guy is three dumb. You're calling me stupid, you what? Three whole dumb. Corporate can't do nothing. Three whole dumb. You possess no wit, no jocularity, not a semblance of snark. You, sir, are a fool, and I believe you do not know what a real door is. You don't even have a fancy lighter. I'm an engineering, though. Those words you have chosen. They're not great. I hope you know this. But a copy machine is not a door. And I want you to know that this is a common 
fact to anyone with eyes and the ability to perceive. How dare you read my mail? That could be from my mother, of all things. PMCs, that's none of your business. I can tell the CEO of this. Oh yeah? Well, don't. Why? Because you broke my door. There, I'm just gonna keep bringing it back to that door. The evidence? Well, it's not working. And you were standing there. These two facts are what I call coincidence because I am a lawyer, sir. What? Well, no one, yes. I am a lawyer. I, I possess the ability to law with legalese and bullshit. Sir, I am fully and completely barred in many places from practicing the law. <laughs> I meant to say that as I did. I will have you know, I attended a six minute course on legality, sir. Six minutes. Six. I got my engineering degree online. I got my legal degree in the mail. It showed up one day and I signed it. It didn't matter that it wasn't mine. I put my name on it. Right, okay, I'll be back. I'm trapped in here. I'm terrified. What if something should happen to me? What if I should become lonely? Or hol hungry? Or scared? What if monsters crawl in here? Look, I'm not gonna be your boyfriend or cook. What if monsters crawl in and steal my paperwork? I literally don't care. I hate you! Well, now I'm trapped in my office. This is a splendid turn of events. Well, I suppose I have to use the other way. Oh, there he is, tattling on me. This man replaced my door with a copy machine. A copy machine. I had a door, now it is a copy machine. I was in my office, minding my own business, burning paperwork as you will, and this man strolls in and replaces my door with a copy machine. I will have you know that I am displeased at this man and his lack of knowledge of doors. The commander's like, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna shovel out. <laughs> well, back to engineering. Okay, break it to me. What have we got? Mr. Checkers, says Scott Ivors. My name is Scott Ivors. Uh, a fantastic stem. Oh, really? How nice. Ready for production. I authorize full production. Let's get these guys hooked on it like moon shoes. I want people to be zipping and zinging around and buying it by the dozen. I wish, but uh, there's no addictive properties. Well, engineer some in. I can get you addictive drugs. Give me a few minutes. We can make a new generation of super drugs that will enable us to make ass loads of big money. And big money is what we want. This company has had to change its name in the last 12 months due to outstanding liabilities and lawsuits. So, you on board for some sketchy shit? Because this is how you make money. I love money. I love money too. Of course, a good start on production. Please do. Let's see what we can do to make a difference. Would you like to come downstairs so I can use the Kim dispensers there? Sounds great. Don't you think we should make two batches? One addictive, one not? Good idea. Control, control group. Production group, we'll see who gets hooked on what. That way we can have a Zimzam Plus and a Zimzam Original. That's the name we're using. Zimzam. Now with more vim and vigor. I can market the non-addictive one if you want to market the addictive one. Or maybe we just label them and see which the customer prefers. Do you think Zimzam now with extra sparkles is too upfront 
I mean, our client here is pretty stupid. We need something that appeals, essentially, to the mind of a child. Something that's simple to understand. Ooh, Zimzam extravaganza with an exclamation point. So they have to yell when they say it. Maybe we can do one of those commercials with lots of yelling and flashing lights and people who just look really happy but also on drugs? Are you two doing something illegal? We are absolutely doing something illegal. It's called pharmacology. Now, you want in or not? <laughs> Law's a funny thing, Dr. Wood Willard. Yeah, I hate it. Do you want to help us make Zim Zam? Zim Zam with extra good. Read that. Green on that one. Look, we're making crazy pills. They're gonna be addictive as crack. And they're gonna be great. And that chief... Engineer is now my nemesis unless he wants in. Unless he wants in. Wanna try this SIG? Sure. Oh god. Fantastic. My god. What a smoke. We can market this. Listen. Creepy engineer. You went in on this? He's the guy who stole my door and replaced it with a copy machine. But I mean, we got into an argument over the nature of man and the definition of a door. I'll tell you this, he stuck to his guns. And I to mine. I uh, need to find a test victim. I mean, a test subject. Yeah. Let's get one of those deltards. They'll eat anything. Shit. Just leave a pill laying on the ground. Label it Skittles. Watch what happens. Look, a Deltard. How do you do, my fellow Marines? All is well. All is very well. We're busy doing science. Big science. We've invented a new thing. I'm not having any, any drugs. What about vitamins? Think of them as really powerful vitamins. Yeah, vitamin B+. Plus. They increase vitality. Good for your bones. They make your bones so big. Very big bones. Very good for your bone concentration. Huge, robust bones. They help your hair, hair become silky smooth. You get double the bones for the same cheap price. Yeah, twice the bones. Guaranteed. Think of all the bones you could have. I don't want drugs. Who said drugs? It's not drugs. It's vitamins. Super duper vitamins. Sir, I need to discuss something with you. How dare you? I didn't do it. They're whispering back and forth. I may be in jail shortly. It's not about something you did. Oh, thank God. Because I didn't do anything. Hey. He stole my briefcase. Jerk. All right, I'm, I'm just going to act normal. They don't know I committed any crimes, which I didn't do, allegedly. I know how to legally argue my way through things. And the way to do that is to keep denying things and threaten to sue everyone. Your office has been broken into. Surprise, surprise. I think I know who did it. You see, the chief engineer broke my door. Then he replaced it with a fax machine. Then he said he didn't break my door. Then I left my office, and now it's broken into. And he's been dogging me hard on my vitamin business. Which is legit, because vitamins are good for you. As you well know, extra bones are just what the body needs. He wants to discuss something else with me. Uh-oh. In private. It's probably about the drugs. I have not been doing this in a clandestine matter. manner, I should say. Doctor? What are you doing here? Or in there, rather. That's a good question. Don't get caught. None of your business, says the doctor. They're so weird. Okay, so what's up? What can I do for you? Or bribe you with? If I am, in fact, in trouble for things which I have done. 
which I have not. I have been informed that you requested WY Expeditionary Force. Sure as hell did. Just to cover my ass. This company needs all the protection it can get. Did you know we got sued so hard last quarter they kept the initials but changed the name of the company? We're up to our tits in liabilities. We got problems with all of our property. And now the customer has no idea who we are anymore. Okay, just so you're aware, Command is not happy you did this without asking them. Well, I tell you this much. Command can blow me. Secondly, that fax was stolen by the chief engineer from my office. So please understand that it was a suggestion and not me begging to upset the cause or balance of this ship or its operations. But I have been the victim of a crime which didn't happen. Also, I have done nothing wrong and the drugs I have made are not narcotic, they are vitamins. Also, I would like to say the following. A crime that, you know what, all vitamins, he says. He face bombs. One, a fax machine is not a door. I had that argument with the chief engineer. Two, and this is most pressing. If you have any stock in the company, dump it. This place is a dumpster. Thirdly, and most importantly, the captain is an idiot. The XO doesn't wear a uniform, and I was promised a place at the briefing, which I was not granted. I even gave a, a copy of the facts I got from the Corsat to the XO, and they ignored it. I'm really not the worst thing to happen here today. So how about I give you some money and you fuck off and uh, invest it? Sir, I cannot accept a bribe. It's not a bribe. It's a contribution to your coffee fund. I am not expecting any favor or favorable treatment in return. I am merely compensating you for your time. That would not be a bribe. But a gratuity, yeah. Uh-uh, oh, I can't accept. Well, what if I put this money here on the counter, you know, just here on the counter, and I, uh, turned away, looking away, if any of the money should, uh, disappear, that's, you know, fine. Quite, quite fine. Still looking away. Not looking. Damn, he's honorable. All right. Can't believe it's Weston Yamada. It sounds like a fucking hotel chain now. Come on down to the Weston Yamada, home of the all-you-can-eat breakfast buffet. All right, let's let's go this way. Dun, 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 dun. I had some MPs sniffing around the business. Not that it's an illegal business. It's just the vitamin business. Jack Edwardson whistles nonchalantly. Yeah, exactly. It's just vitamins. We love vitamins. So many bones. So many bones. Thanks to vitamins, I love bones. I enjoy them as well. Because I am healthy, I eat vitamins. Mine are very strong now, after taking Zim Zim Classic. Indeed, I find Zim Zim Classic to possess all of the vitamins I need for my bones, which are many. He's over there muttering vitamins. We are both very health conscious individuals simply discussing our healthy vitamin habits. I concur. We are health minded individuals who are discussing the use of vitamins to further enhance their healthy manners. This is if only you could OD on it. If only indeed, which should be very impossible. 
considering they are vitamins and, in fact, not dangerous narcotics. A mouse and cheese. What is this experiment? Making sure this isn't killing people. Fed the monkey a pill. Well, it looks alive. Mission accomplished. No clue. I've been busy with Zimzam, Mr. Checkers. I'll check in on, on it. We want those vitamins to be as strong as possible. Strong... Well, that monkey's twitching. Strong vitamins make strong bones. We all know this. On a quest to develop and deliver Zimzam to the masses. I have no time. I agree. Okay. I have a request. I need you to grind some pills into a liquid so I can put them in a, in a cigar for personal medicinal use. Medicinal cigars, man. Those look like ultra, that sounds like ultrazine cigars. Uh, no. They're Zim, they're Zim, Zim Zam. It's, it's a vitamin. A multivitamin with, with so many vitamins, like at least 50. It makes your bones really strong and, and big. I check the composition. That's a nightmare. Shh. Just dip that cigar. He's a little concerned about what's in Zim Zam, but you know, I'm not. I am not concerned at all. I'm just gonna light the cigar and run off at a thousand miles an hour and then have a massive heart attack as I break the fourth dimension. Here's one, sir. Load them up. I want them chock full of vitamin -y goodness. Checkers, I have a marketing slogan for Zim Zam Classic. I'm a Zim Zam Classic, a cool refreshing vitamin for the Virile Marine. That's not bad. What about Zim Zam Classic? All the Zim you want, and all the Zam you need. Each cigar takes 10% of our beaker. Okay. Use those cigars in the case and fill, and fill them up. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Index, uh, mm -mm. Immediate action. Security Date. Lower to August 6, 2186-ish. All right, so, and then, and, and then, uh, subject, uh, firearms permit, Randolph P. Checkers, ESQ, JD, attorney at law is hereby allowed and encouraged to bear firearms for his personal defense. Signed, uh, important corporate guy who you really doubt exists. There we go. Signature. Very legit. So very real. Many scrawls go off the edge of the page as though done on purpose. Yeah, see? I now have a firearms permit. Okay. Listen. I think this place is about to shit the bed. So, keep a cigar for yourself. Alright, put them back in the case. All right, thanks, bud. Listen, I don't know your name, and I don't want to. So, keep the money, and go our own ways. Just throw a thousand dollars at him and walk out. All right, let's check on our other operation. This doesn't look good. This doesn't look good at all. I have a flamethrower now. No one knows. Good day. How are you? How goes the planet? That isn't for you. Please refrain from taking... Taking what? I didn't take anything. I just found it. Look. It's there. A magic trick. Huzzah. Yeah, whatever, dude. Listen. I'm not a bad guy. Man, I thought I wasn't gonna pay attention. I need to start stealing weapons. Unauthorized monorail departure detected. Well, that's not good. Hello. Just wanted to check in. Yes! All is well. No drugs. No drugs or cocaine. Here you may have taken marine equipment. I have not. It is outrageous. I need to do a search of your person, sir. Fine. But know this. I have a single firearm on my person. And it is my personal firearm. 
it is in my pack. It is perfectly safe. As well, I have a permit for said firearm. Really should be keeping that in your safe, you know. You know, I would if somebody hadn't ransacked my office. As they have. They ransacked my entire office. Including paperwork, fruit, and I think they even stole the chair. Right, your bag, sir? Yes, yes. As you wish. There. Dig away. And when you find nothing, I would like a formal apology. A flashbang? Ah, yes. Rain threw it at me. Thankfully, it wasn't armed. I believe he was with Charlie's squad. I gave him some money, but he ran away. I'd forgotten about that flashbang. Where'd you get those gloves, sir? The chief engineer. He gave them to me. After destroying my door, and then trying to use a copy machine as the door. Which, again, I really need to point out, a copy machine is not a door. This armor is not allowed for you on green, sir. Well, pardon that then. I'll return it to my office. I didn't even look at my cigars. See, it's easy. Oh boy. I just gave someone Zimzag Classic and they only took one vitamin, took two immediately thereafter. All right. Well then, as you can see, all is in order and I am not doing anything wrong, sir. I am a good man with a good record and a fine hat. Those vitamins, something about a two unit OD brain damage. I, I, I wouldn't know those details. My uh, guy would, he's the chemist. But boy, if they take a lot, well, they sure have a lot of Zim... <laughs> Zimzam. Such large bones. The likes of which you'd never be able to ever enjoy. <laughs> so you're make marketing vitamins you call safe, but no, no, there's side effects. Well, yes, that's what vitamin companies do. They say, this has not been evaluated by the FDA, and then they proceed to sell you garbage. It's a healthy profit margin, really. This vitamin's causing one adverse reaction. I'm holding you responsible. You can try in a court of law, but I'll be gone by then, because I would like to have some. I have no vitamins. They're all gone. Sold out real quick. Can you get more? Sure. Who did you sell to? They were given away. Uh, by my medical team. You'd have to speak to research. Really? I'm just in marketing myself. <laughs> Mr. Checkers, we should market this to kids. Uh, can I see one of these vitamins? Well, sure. And I get more. Anyways, back to work. Screamer, screamer here. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm just running off now. I'll see, I'll hold you to it. Yeah, you won't. I'm just gonna run away. And then I'm gonna get away with it. That pill does one bad to anybody. Yeah, I'm running off. The, uh, the way to play corporate liaison is just to play greasy. Just be greasy. You're trying to turn a profit. You're trying to get the company to come in and fuck shit up. Get people to second guess themselves. Pretend like you know what you're doing. All right, I've got my cigars. I've got what I need. All right, and here we go. I have massive brain and heart damage. Fine, Zim Zam. And you want the Zim, but need the Zam. Just gonna kind of walk around and act normal. I do have a pistol permit. I wrote it myself. Of my own volition, I developed a fantastic new vitamin. Hmm. How goes vitamins? The, uh, police are on to us, uh, by the by. They seem very interested in them. The CMO approved it. Well, we're fucking fine then. He's like the FDA on board. I think we should start marketing this to kids. Well, I mean, it's a dream, right? Fade in. Children's cartoon. Lots of fun animals and characters. But what's this? They're down on the dumps. And their bones are weak. Enter. Zimzam. Zimzam makes bones big and strong. And nearly unbreakable. Thanks to plastic lacing of bone tissue. 
but be careful. It'll make your bones too big. Anyways, yeah, that'll work. Then all your classmates will laugh at you. Yeah, they'll call you old bony or boneface McGee. Or Bones, Malone, and the Spoopy Boys. Then you have a sad, pathetic life working a dead nine to five. Get lost as years roll by and find yourself slowly slipping into that abyss as your father did before you, rising on the wave of mediocrity until one day you drop dead at your desk, unmourned, unnoticed, and unremembered. Anyways, good talk. You, uh, you ever, you ever look up, I mean, you know, at the ceiling, like, above us right now? Because for some reason, I, I feel that would be bad. Hey, Seal, you got any of that Zim Zim vitamin? Nope, I'm out. We're talking marketing. We're thinking of marketing of kids. Yeah, it's a great market. A fantastic market. Oh, well, it's up to corporate. Yeah, they gotta give us feedback, and we gotta do focus groups. How much screaming is too much screaming for kids to understand? That's funny. He points to Albert Blackwell. Drunk on duty. Albert Blackwell stammers. I'm not drunk! I feel like kids speak exclusively in screams. I think so, too. I never remembered my childhood. Uh, CO. Uh, why is your door open? Because it's broken, you asshole. Anyways. Let's go make some more vitamins. Where'd you get that cool hat? Found it. It's mine. Soon we'll be able to buy lots of hats. After we get famous off Zim Zim. I like hats. I do too. I think they make the man. CO, why'd your back door open? I explain this. You walked off. I've been vandalized. People broke in. That's why I keep all my shit in my backpack. Sounds like he needs some Zim Zam. Yeah, let's get him some Zim Zam. His thinking bones aren't strong enough. Yeah, gotta embiggen them thinking bones. Aren't you gonna take it? In a while, he's gonna analyze it, so he'll fix that door for you. Use that to steal a recipe. Those re recipes are protected by law. And endorsed by the CMO. You can get rich off Zim Zim Classic. You gotta remix it. You gotta add more Zim. Doctor recommended. CMO approved. Yeah, that's how you do it. We're just yelling at people. Cut back on the Zam. Too much Zam. Nobody likes Zam. Let's go. Let's see what I can do about limiting the Zam. Yeah, this is this is how we work now. You could even shoot an infomercial, like I, I roll up in a wheelchair and I'm like, if only my bones were bigger, and then I take a handful of that and I'm like running 100 miles an hour before my heart goes bad. Hmm. You could put this into cigarettes. Yes. Now you're thinking. Now you're thinking. This is what we will do. Get started. Zim Zam Gold. The smooth, refreshing Zim you need. Get started. Yeah. Okay. That's what we're doing. We're gonna zim zam the shit out of this. This is how science starts, you know? Mr. Ivor, says Carl Pershing. Oh my god. What does he want? Or is it that is Dr. Ivor's? He's, he's putting the blame on other people. We shall see about that medical license. Listen here, sergeant who, who gives a shit. We're making good old-fashioned... Vitamins. If you want to give a shit, go through the CMO who approved everything we are doing. Do you outrank the? Yeah. Do you outrank the CMO? No, you do not. He has a medical license, and you, sir, have one stripe for every grade you passed without eating the crayons. Fucking morons. Anyways, that'll keep him busy. Oh, command. Alright, let's see. Do you have a lighter? Yes, I do. 
I have a lighter. Anything... Anything to help. Takes a massive drag. I put mine to a cigar earlier. I'm gonna smoke some Zim Zam. Doesn't seem to be working. Or is it working so good you can't tell? I'm feeling twitchy. Is that classic or plus? Probably both. Scan me. See what's going on. I'm shivering and twitching. Oh, you appear to have overdosed. Nonsense. Impossible. It's vitamins. I feel fantastic. You're gonna try to put me in there. I'm just gonna keep smoking. Just put your briefcase down for a second, Mr. Checkers. Okay, fine. I wanna make sure you're not dying. I'm maintained by the greatest vitamins known to man. Zim Zam. Now with extra Zim, you're fine. Seems like the analyzer isn't advanced enough to handle Zim Zam Classic. Knew it. Knew it. I feel great. Very great. So great, in fact, I may be in pain from how great I feel. It must be how healthy my bones are. Sure didn't have something to do with Zim Zam Plus? I'm fine. I feel fantastic. Evening, madam. Evening. All is well. Looks like a loyal Zim Zam customer. Zim Zam, what ails ya? Lovely hat you got there. Yes, ma'am. Tis a fine chapeau indeed. Ignore my rapid blinking. It's because of how healthy I am and how large my bones are because of the vitamins. Get your Zim Zam ass the fuck out of here. I can't stand this inane bullshit. Alright, let's leave. Hmm. What a fine dog. A fine dog. They've got... <laughs> Zim Zam is helping the Marines. They've got strong bones. Yes. Zim Zam has all the vitamins you can smoke. As we all know, that's how you get your vitamins. You hit that shit. You mainline them. Do you want some Zim Zam? What's that? The most helpful vitamin supplement known to man. I'm smoking it right now. Your team, you do seem shady as hell, so no. The vitamins, three times as potent as synaptazine and just as effective as hyperzine, but with no side effects and twice the effective duration of hyperzine. Do you want me to see one? Oh yeah, prove it's good. Yes, prove it to the man. How helpful and good it is. I've been smoking Zim Zam for the past 10 minutes. I'm not dead. It's far safer than government issue crack. Mr. Checker, says Carl Pershing. Checkers, yes, that's me. What is going on? Please, I would very much like one of the vitamins. Well, hook this MP up with some... Some FDA non-approved, CMO-approved uh, vitamins. He's a fine lad. I'm sure he'd enjoy one. Very difficult to trip yourself. Can you please push me over and see how fast I react? All right. Ow. You reacted. So fast. So fast. Oh, please push me over. I want to check my lightning reflexes. All right. My god. It's so swift. We are faster than bullets. We can outrun f run fate itself. Majestic. Scott Ivors has pushed Scott Ivors. That is pretty quick. I am a swan. I am a leaf on the river of life. Zim Zam. I'm also very hungry. Hmm. Look how far I threw that. My god. Behold Zim Zam, for that is the greatest good and all that my kingdom entails. I threw that cardboard tube literally 20 feet. And that was pretty crazy. Not too bad. It was like zoom. Zoom! Now there's a product. Zoom. From the makers of Zim Zam. Zoom. Now with more oom. Um. 
this guy's coming in, please help me, and we're sitting there just talking crazy shit. My reflexes are too fast for that. My god. What monsters have we become? We are above Min now. Now that we have tasted the Zim Zam. Morality hath fled us, Brutus beasts. Yes. Zim Zam it is. Zim Zam forever. Let us make more. Let us bathe in it. To dial back the dangerous passage of time and swim again in the joy of youth. Let us rise above to greatness and ascend to godhood. Zim Zam. Oh, chief engineer's there to become the very fabric of existence that is Zim Zam. What happened to the uh, chief engineer? Did he drink his lunch again? He's just like, I'm definitely not drunk. See, I, I'm i indestructible. I've got Zim Zam. Look how fast I can run. Oh, he fell down. That is potentially a problem. Let's, uh, let's try to wake him up. Uh, is he okay? I'm fine, he says. He's drunk. Um, mm. He fell down. He needs to sleep it off. I'm sure he's fine. He's gonna give us a medical treatment, and he's probably gonna put us under. Fine. He's screaming. I've been attacked. Shh. It is fine. It is fine. A crazy bitch stabbed me. Well, it was bound to happen. We did fancy ourselves gods. Now I'm high as fuck. I've been talking about Zim Zam this whole time. She stabbed me with a syringe and I was paralyzed. Or, or, were you Zim Zammed? Sorry, I, I, I'm just still in that mindset. Wide awake, trapped in a pri- And then he gasps when I said Zim Zammed. He's like, no, I understand. What a twist. What a twist indeed. At any rate, I'm going to go to cryo and sleep this off. Here's my stuff. Enjoy it. And take care of Farwa. He's a great friend.